Hi, I'm Keith from RMS. Uh, I'm here today with uh, Jeff from RDI in Knoxville at the headquarters for RDI Technologies. Um, RDI have just released uh, a major update for the ISM platform, which has got some really cool new features that we're going to chat to Jeff about today and find out a little bit more about them. So, Jeff, can you tell us, uh, we've got shaft inspection and we've got shaft measurement. Um, what's the difference between those two? Yeah, so shaft um, inspection is really um, designed to be an inspection tool. So it puts the camera into a new mode that allows you to get um, very detailed imagery of the shaft as it turns. So you, should, you can actually essentially slow the shaft down yeah. and then spin it around to be able to inspect it through a rotation even while it's in operation. Oh, that's really cool. So um, what in industry and applications, what, how are we going to use that? What would you use it on? I think really um, anything that has rotating, um, rotating equipment, um, areas that have um, lots of motors and pumps, um, and in particular, I think the coupling area on a shaft would be of yeah. interest to a lot of people. Okay, so that's kind of like to really have a good check on the coupling, on the rotating parts, the condition of it, um, understand what, what it looks like in, in real detail in operation. Yeah, yeah, so you don't have to turn the equipment off if you want to do an inspection and see, you know, is there damage to the coupling, is there, um, you know, some issue with it that you want to be able to inspect it, and visually inspect it. Oh yeah, that's really handy, that's good. So it's so another way of using the same platform just for uh, another application. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, we've essentially got a camera here, you know, and, and we're going to kind of leverage it in a new way uh, yeah. to be able to, to look at your equipment. Oh, that's really good. So, so the other one then uh, is sh uh, shaft measurement. Mm -hmm. So uh, what's the measurement side of it? What, what we need that for? Yeah, so, you know, up until this point with the Iris M, um, measuring the displacement of a shaft has uh, largely been off limits. Um, and we've got a lot of feedback from our users saying, hey, we, we'd like to be able to measure. We'd like to know how much that shaft is, is displacing during operations. Yeah. Um, and so we, um, we focused on that, and um, now the new update is going to allow you to draw an ROI, a region of interest, um, on the shaft. And then inside that, inside that measurement box, um, mm -hmm. it's going to actually measure um, the motion of, of the shaft as it, as it turns. Oh, that's really cool. So that's actually something we got asked uh, that feature, we get asked by our customers quite a lot, can we do that uh, capability? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really nice to see that's been, uh, oh yeah, I've listened to that, you've listened to put it in there, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of people, um, you know, they, they see the shaft and they, you know, really curious, like they want to know um, without, you know, having to get other sensors, you know, what, how much is that shaft moving and now they'll be able to do that while the, yeah. while the um, um, the machine's operating. So how accurate is that measurement going to be in terms of so what we're used to, like a displacement um, a proximity probe? That's yeah, so we used a proximity probe as the standard for measurement um, to compare against, and so our goal was to get within a 10% of a prox probe, which we've been able to do. Well, that's really good. So uh, there's two more features. Mm -hmm. There's another feature called HDR. Mm -hmm. What is that high dynamic range, like 4K and all that? What, what's that? Yeah, so... Uh, it, Close. It's, um, it refers to a high density recording. So what it really means is it puts, again, puts the camera into a new mode that allows you to take a very dense waveform, um, which turns into a very dense video yeah. of a single or a few cycles. So now you can put the camera into HDR mode, and let's say you have a 30 hertz a machine or a 25 hertz machine, you can take a, um, a recording um, and amplify that recording, and there can be up to 180 points within that single waveform. So you're getting a, a very dense waveform um, and a very fluid motion at a particular frequency for um, okay. a piece of equipment. Um, so also, you've said the other feature that we've got is phase readings. So it, now we can take a relative phase measurement. So what prompted the, uh, the readings to put that in the software and what led to that? Yeah, so as you know, you can make multiple readings within a recording. So you can draw as many ROIs within that recording and get multiple measurements or multiple waveforms. Um, and um, in the past, what you would have had to have done is overlay the waveforms and visually see the phase relationship between two uh, frequencies. In this update, we're allowing you to pick a location and a frequency and set that as a reference. And so from there, you can look at any other waveform and determine with a numerical value, a number like 180 degrees, how much something is in or out of phase. So it's really just doing like uh, 
the relative phase measurement on any point within our ROIs, any of the ROIs within that image. So we've got a full image, we can draw an, uh, an ROI anywhere in there and compare the relative phase for each one. That's right. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah, it's, a, it, it's been a heavily requested feature yeah. and we're really glad to be able to put it in the product. So that's really cool, Jeff. Uh, th those are amazing updates on version 2.5. On top of all those other really good features we've got, like we had the frequency filtering, and we had Motion Explorer, and Motion Studio, uh, we're really uh, impressed with all those, and it's it's been such a, a great tool to use. So thanks to all the hard work from yourself and the RDI team. Yeah, thank you.